Hey guys, it's Mousy, and welcome back to another episode of City Living with Hazel Bones. If you remember last episode, oh gosh, it got spicy, and I'm not talking about the Spice Festival, y'all. It was heating up between Hazel and Gwen. Oh my gosh, they had a movie night, but the rats ruined it. That's right. The rats ruin it again. This apartment is becoming a problem, and that's why, in this episode, we're gonna work towards that. Let's see where Hazel is right now. Hey, girl, hey! I see you're leveling up that gaming skill because you need to for your job. Isn't that weird? You gotta play games for your job? I mean, that's, that's, that's such a weird job to have, isn't it? I mean, it's not like I could ever imagine myself doing that, right? I mean... I'm just your conscience that happens to float around you and sometimes change your house, but it's cool, you know, I, I feel you. Um, I'm starting to think that that might not be smooth jazz that we're hearing, um, right, I'm just gonna go back to where I was, hello again. Um, I'm really sorry that the walls are thin and you have to hear that, but just think you're working towards getting out of here, Hazel. You are working towards getting out of here. You will never have to deal with rats. You'll never have to deal with bugs or foul odors or the electricity going out. You might actually have to still deal with that stuff, but maybe just not as frequently and not as horrifying as this apartment is, because, I mean, ugh, this place is horrifying. But I've come up with some options for you. First off, get the work done. We gotta get you leveled up in that career. And I know just the thing. You gotta get that video gaming up. You gotta get on that social media. You gotta get on it, girl. I've also come up with some other ideas. Now just hear me out. I was thinking painting, right? You could get a little easel. You could look out into the city and paint the city and the little yellow cars passing by and all of that jazz. You could also, just hear me out, practice that piano that you already have and maybe play for some tips, you know? You need to get that money. No, you don't want to do the music thing? Okay. All right, now that you've gotten those video game skills down, all of those kill shots and simulations and all that fun stuff, you know, it's you got to update your followers about that stuff, okay? You've got to climb that social ladder you've got to climb the the, the media ladder you've got to be come famous famous on the internet that's right you've, <laughs> it's sharing jokes are you reposting you better not be reposting Ooh, okay let me teach you the horrors of reposting okay someone will find out that you reposted a joke okay and stole it from somewhere else you've got to come up with spicy fresh content okay I've got to say, I'm really proud of the fact that you're no longer scared of cooking. This is really a nice step in the right direction. I think you should keep up with this and become a really, really good cook. That way you can, uh, you know, just uh, impress Gwen with those cooking skills. By the way, have you texted her today and told her how much of a great time you had? Aren't these flowers beautiful? Don't they remind you of Gwen and how you should totally send her a quick message? You know, just check the waters. You know, I, I think you guys could really hit it off. I think you should, you know, talk to her and see if uh, getting serious is an option. I mean, you guys kiss, you go on a few dates. I mean, you know, a few more dates and maybe just ask the question, you know, girlfriend, yay or nay. Maybe just pass her a note and have it written down. Uh -huh. Will you be my girlfriend? Circle yes or no and just, you know, make a little paper airplane and send it back to me. Anyone else do that in school? I know I did. But then again, I'm a floating conscience, and, uh, yeah. I had a fun thought. Hazel, why don't we call Gwen and invite her out to the art gallery, paint a little bit of her, maybe get some pictures of her, you know, like, cute yeah. stuff, maybe hang out, you know, do some romantic all kinds of fun stuff. You you know what I'm saying. You you know what I mean. Yeah, see, so you're in that flirty mood, and you can give her a key to your apartment. You know, just casual, though. You know, you, you I know you're, like, you know, worried about, like, the whole commitment thing. I know you really like this girl. You want to take it easy. You want to, like, test the waters. I totally understand that. 
But I do feel like giving her a key would give her access all the time. She could stop by whenever she wants. You guys could watch movies together and not watch movies together. Whatever you want to do, I'm completely fine with that. I'll just be the floating conscience that follows you around. Always. Okay, look, it could be worse. Just calm down. Okay. Uh, wow. How, where do I begin? So, oh, she advertised a minor product on her social media and lost, like, a hundred followers. It's not the end of the world, okay? You needed that 500 simoleons to pay those bills. Oh. Paying bills is really, really important, okay? Trust me, I am in complete understanding, even though I'm technically a floating conscience entity that follows you around. Don't worry about it. I understand uh -huh. the struggle. But losing followers, it's, it's not the end of the world. You will gain yeah. those followers Please. back, okay? They understand. Stand. Right, so she had a little bit of an embarrassing hiccup on the internet today, I think. She yeah, advertised some so. stuff, it didn't uh -huh. go well, she lost some followers, and then she tried to save, save grace, save face, however the saying goes, oh, by making a wow, funny joke cool. and trying to gain those followers back. But, alas, she didn't have many followers to make a joke to, and crickets chirped throughout the, throughout the world, and it was kind of embarrassing. So... I'm really sorry, Hazel, you've kind of had a bad day, and it'll get better, all right? As as we've said before, every bad day has a good day, just believe. What? Why do you look sad? Why do you look uncomfortable? What's going on with you? I understand you're really still embarrassed about the whole pun thing that you did on the internet. It's okay. I want you to know, Hazel, that I appreciate puns, okay? I appreciate <laughs> puns, all right? Remember that. They may not appreciate your puns out there in the world, but I do. So I was thinking today after you get off of work, uh, maybe you could go to the art museum and practice painting a little bit, you know, get that skill up. You know, it matters, it matters. You could maybe also kind of just artistically spice this place up by maybe starting a mural in here. I mean, why not? This place, we don't really have a rug to cover up this awful flooring. And I feel like it would really add to just the the quality, the design, the magic, just magical stuff. Just let me know what you think about it. I know you have work soon. Just just let me know, okay? Oh my gosh, incoming phone call from Gwen. Oh my gosh. Hey, Hazel, it's me, Gwen. Do you want to go out on a date? The Shrieking Llama. She only has a little bit before her, uh, uh, before she goes to work, but she can't turn down Gwen. No, she has to go, girl. You can sneak in a drink before you go off to work. It's going to be great. Or you could work from home. That's it. That's it. You could work from home. You don't need to go to the office. Just tell them that you, you're feeling like working, working out on the streets today. That way you can hang out with Gwen. It's perfect. Go. Aren't you two just the absolute cutest together? I mean, uh, you've got to give her the key, okay? I know it, you, you've got like, you. oh, look at this. This is just adorable. You've got to give her a key to your apartment. Give her the key, give her the key, give her the key. Oh my gosh, she has the key. She took it. See, everything's great. This is a good sign. This is a good sign. This means that she might be up for being the girlfriend. Come on. Hey. <laughs> That's right. Move in together. You could get married. Mm. Oh, this is just so cute. Oh, I'm so proud of you. See, she can come by every any any time she wants now. You you're not constricted to her not having a key because that situation can happen, and it's good to be prepared. And now I'm proud of you. It's just, just good, okay? It's, it's just go get drinks. Go get drinks. Come on. Be a gracious huh? loser. Be a gracious See, winner, no. okay? No one likes a sore loser, uh -huh. and no one likes a sore winner, okay? Mm. I think that's how the saying goes. Uh -huh. But remember, you yes. like this girl, you guys are getting along well, but you still haven't asked her to be your girlfriend, okay? I don't know what you're so nervous about. Everything is like green, green eyed, green lit, green, green. Go green, go on green. I don't know what I'm saying, but you know, okay? Look, I understand you're really happy about winning, Hazel, but you can't rub that in her face, okay? I know you've won two games, but you cannot rub that in her face, okay? Hazel, I know you don't want to think about it, and you don't really want to talk about it, and you just want to be happy and just make your food and do whatever, but we need to talk about it, okay? Just let her cool down. It's okay. 
All right, you didn't expect her to be that crazy over losing that many games of the shrieking llama or don't topple the llama or whatever it was, okay? And you didn't expect her to leave while you were in the bathroom. Um, and that was something that really hurt and I understand that it, it can it can weigh a lot on somebody and I know it weighs a lot on you right now even though you, you you're just trying not to think about it, but it's okay. I mean, that text where she said, don't call me ever, that, that, she didn't mean that. She didn't mean that, okay? It's just your first fight. Just let her cool down. She still has the key to your place. So, for all you know, she could calm down and just come back and everything's gonna be fine, alright? You didn't do anything wrong. You just were really good at don't topple the llama, okay? Uh, and familiar. occasionally that can be a bad thing now that we've learned that all right okay girl i know exactly what will cheer you up just watch those funny videos for as long as you possibly can watch all the funny videos on the <laughs> internet all the cats in the in the little in the little baskets all the the lizards ah, doing weird dancey <laughs> things although i think that might be a car commercial or something like that but nonetheless watch all those funny Internet videos and feel better, okay? Feel good. All right. <sighs> Come on, Hazel. You have to say something about this. You have to tell the landlord about this. You can't keep waking up in the middle of the night to this. I, I Hazel, I said keep calm, okay? Keep calm. Tell him to keep it down. Come on. Hiroshi, a moon Hazel, back. come on. Hey, keep. Hazel, please, just keep calm about it, okay? If he starts crying and telling you about his life story, you need to walk away. You need to walk away now. Okay, there he goes. He's gone. He's not going to do it this time. I think he learned his lesson. Let's go back to bed. Just go back to bed. Come on, Hazel. Come on. Well, well, well. What do you know? The pipes are leaking again. The pipes are yet again broken. Finally, you are starting to understand the problem with living here. It's not good. You need to move somewhere else. I know there are other places in this city that maybe the rent's a little high. Maybe it's just not good in so many ways, but... They gotta be better than this. Girl, you gotta get somewhere. Like, this is bad. No, 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 they're back! What did I just say? You don't even work today, so you know what? Finish that veggie burrito, girl, because you're coming in here and you're updating that social media status and then you're getting a shower and then you're calling them. I'm doing that in that order because no one likes to start off their day with, uh, you know, not being clean, if that makes sense. I'm literally over it. I'm done with everything. What do you think you're doing? You can't just leave trash outside of your apartment. Okay, um, well, I would say this is an option, but it's definitely not an option. That's all the money you have in your bank right now. Oh my goodness. What about over here? We've got a lot available over here. Weekly rent is 1200 Oh my gosh. What about here? Uh, that one's taken. Furnishings. Weekly rent is 500 Uh, there's lively neighbors, so maybe they'll throw parties and you can get invited. I mean, it's, it's something. The deposit is 1000 Weekly rent is 500 What about this? Weekly rent is 300 Oh, this one needs TLC, too. We are staying away from that. This is the problem we are having right now, okay? That is the problem we're having now. We don't want to go back to that, okay? I mean, it looks nice. I mean, look at it. It's... It's something. I mean, it's not the best thing in the world. It's not what you have now. I mean, you have two bedrooms that you could turn into a studio. I mean, like, this one has an extra bedroom that you could turn into, like, a work office. That's that's something. And it, it's got a nice bath. I don't know. I don't know. Let's over here. Okay, we definitely don't have that. We definitely don't have that. Well, there's the apartment building right next to you. Uh, let's see. Good schools, Olay line. Uh, well, neither of those things really pertain to you because you don't have children. You know what? It was good that we went and looked at apartments, okay? It was good that we went out and saw what was out there, and now we know what is needed. We, we need to earn more money, and we need to get out of here. That's what happens. That's what needs to happen, okay? You know what needs to happen. <laughs> Shunik! Fine. See, I told you everything was okay. 
<sighs> she just needed a day to cool down. She takes those llama things really seriously, those games, all right? Now, you know what needs to happen. Mm. Get to work, girl. You need to earn those simoleons. We need to get out of here. We need to go on another date with Gwen <laughs> that doesn't involve competitive games because... All right, well, that's it for this episode of City Living with Hazel Bones. I hope you guys enjoyed it truly, honestly, amazingly. We need to climb that social ladder in her social media job. I think we're getting there. We've got to get to a 1,000 followers, but it's slow getting there. I think we really set ourselves back with uh, convincing her to do that uh, minor, you know, advertisement. But, you know, we got to pay those bills somehow. It's got to happen somehow. But... Nonetheless, I think everything is going well. We we nearly had a few hiccups, but I think everything's going well. Maybe maybe next week we can invite Gwen out to a festival for a day. I think that would be really, really cute. I think that would be really nice. But anyways, guys, that's it. I love you so, so very much. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!